Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Super Fantify. This being a show where we talk about TV shows of the supernatural, fantasy, and or science fictional genre. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about Undone Season 2, Episode 5. A lot of really interesting things went down in this episode, so let's break it down. I really enjoy how they structured this episode, how it's not until like halfway through the episode you get to the actual title card, interestingly enough, because the episode has to come full circle where uh, Alma, Jacob, and... Uh, Becca run into their mom and Alejandro at his place and then she sees him as a baby and kind of goes through his memories and through his entire life um, growing up in the system. I, I thought it was heartbreaking when he was a little kid, a little bit older, he was holding one of the babies so it seems like one of his jobs kind of there was, oh yeah, the babies need to be held every once in a while and he kind of took care of that, helping out the uh, caretaker at the place. Helping her out from time to time with that, you know, more hands to kind of help. Because, like, oh, there's a lot of kids that need to be held. And he was whispering to the baby, like, oh, when you get adopted, make sure I get adopted too. I'd love to be a brother. And you're like, oh, that's heartbreaking. And obviously over the years, we we do, you couldn't see her because of the light. Because it, he was so young at the time, so he couldn't make her face out. So that's why I was wondering, I was actually surprised, jumping ahead a little bit, when she reveals that that was her all those years ago that gave him that very plant that he's taking care of, that he spent so much of his life taking care of. I thought that was so interesting, he never found out that was her. He never realized it was her, because it was so long ago he was a little kid, and so his memories of that are very vague. But you could tell it was his mom, it was uh, Camilla, coming to visit him and wanting to give him that plant to take care of, and he's taking care of it over the years. It got older, found out about Camilla after like sneaking a peek at his records. Which, the actor who plays the older version of... Um, present day Carlos and everything the, not, not Carlos Alejandro the actor's name is I believe it was it Carlos is working at this oil uh, like job and the moment he starts coughing at the beginning I'm like that's what the money's about he's sick isn't he and especially because the episode title is called lung or lungs I don't remember if it's singular or plural but it's probably plural but you're like oh my god that's what it's about that's why she was been sending him money because he's sick um well, initially she was sending him money so that he could get a better place so he could work a different... Because he was... Um, there was some job she was going to offer him. She was saying like, oh, you should get this job instead of working where you're working. And he was... Because, well, he reached out to her at first, which she was like, no, no, I'm excited. She's like, I'm going to Mexico to visit family. Which is so interesting. I wonder who was she... She had to be visiting like her sister or extended family because it's like, right. Or, well, I guess... She probably came to visit Rosario because it's like, well, of course she probably would. She's probably the closest thing you have to family in Mexico. Because once again, we know her and her sister aren't close. So she probably avoids her immediate family because her mom, like, probably, like, all those years, not probably, her mother kicked her out, like, disowned her all those years ago, assuming the worst about her and not knowing the circumstances. But probably, like, if her mom did know the circumstances, it's like, oh, my God, you got, you... Uh, you're having a baby, uh, a pre, uh, someone, you know, your little uh, trisk with that uh, priest got found out. Now it's like on top of that, you're having his baby and it's a baby out of wedlock, the whole Catholic thing. Like there would have been even more shame and the shame you brought up on her family. So it would have been even worse if her mom probably knew the truth. Um, but I think because of her trying to keep her distance from her mom, I think because in that in turn, she ended up distancing herself from her sister too. So her and her sister don't have the relationship they once had when they were both younger. So, that's why I'm like, it must only be Rosario she's visiting. Like I said, not unless it's an extended family, but I would assume that everything with her mom, I, I feel like it would probably extend to the rest of her family. Because she just says, like, oh, well, she came to visit family, but you're like, right, her and her mom had not been on good terms for years, so why, why would she come visit her? So, and you would never have thought about that when she was like... I don't know, maybe things have changed over the years. I don't know. Because she was like, uh, her, when the, when the Alma and uh, Rebecca were talking to their mom and grandmother in episode three, she was like, oh, like your mom's down here didn't even say anything to me. So I'm like, maybe like she's kind of forgotten because she we know she's kind of revised history and at least kind of buried a lot of her own mistakes in how she handled stuff back then so maybe her and Camilla have like a really awkward relationship so maybe they have seen each other even though like her mom disowned her but probably took her back like after everything kind of settled but they like they just don't talk about the past at all just because how unsavory and complicated it is but She uh, spent time with Carlos, and he was asking, though, you know, it's like, oh, like, wait, you have, I have two cute sisters? Oh, my God, like, uh, could I meet them one day? And it's like, 
Oh, yeah, she's like, maybe one day, and it's like, because that's what I was really trying to get, understand was why she did it, and it seems like, as the episode progresses, it does seem like it is what I thought it was. It is shame on her part, because she did not want both worlds colliding, the world, this life that she's built herself, versus the life that she kind of left behind, the son that she left behind, and that's kind of been this secret. It's not... Because for him, it's like, you can't say that it's your shame because I'm associated with that shame. I will always, you can't distance that. You can't be like, no, I have no shame for you. I have shame in myself. But it's like, yeah, I'm that dirty little secret that you've hidden for so long. So, of course, like even if, if you feel shame towards yourself, that shame extends to me, even though that's not what Camilla wants. Um, but like I said... Uh, because he only got to see his mom every once in a while. She would send him cards uh, like uh, Christmas, um, his birthday, and stuff like that. And just over the years, she'd send him stuff and visit him like probably like once every blue, once in a while in the year. Like if, whenever she could find time to sneak away. And it's like you're basically living a double life. And he he just accepts it because it's like right I I have my mother in my life that's that's something and just it's nice and I think you know kind of like Jacob not wanting to rock the boat Alejandro didn't want to rock the boat either it's like I got mom I don't want to push too hard I don't want to push too much uh, but the the day uh, Becca saw him well saw her mom get out of the car and mentions Alejandro it turns out that um, which I didn't remember she actually said his name back then which I, I, that should have been the tr the thing that immediately be like oh Michael you were right um, at that time I should have uh, when I was kind of doubting myself throughout the episode I, I should have remembered that at the top of like oh yeah I've completely forgot she said Alejandro out loud like you have to go and he drove off but he showed up at her place and it's like right Becca's going through the wedding right now and that and the sad thing is Camilla keeps making excuses it's like right uh, Becca's just getting married like it's too much the entire family's here I think that the real rub to it was the the entire family's here so that probably included her sister and her mom so it wasn't just about like she was using that as an excuse Becca's wedding with all that going on but that's probably also because that if Alejandro shows up, it's like, oh, now you got to admit not only to your mother and your sister about like, oh, you had a, gr a, no, a grand another grandchild you knew had nothing about. You have a nephew you never knew about. Oh, hey, Reed's family. Here's my son that I gave away, you know, years ago. You know, so it, but once again, it is also it just it stems from Camilla never feeling the, the, the right time to ever tell the truth. Because once again, it's just. She's like, she made such a mistake that she doesn't know how to fix it and she doesn't think she can because she doesn't want the life she built for herself to come crumbling down. She doesn't want, I think she'd be afraid of how Jacob or the Alma or um, Becca would look at her if they ever knew the truth. I think that's what really strikes a chord with her. But um, like I said, uh, she sent him money to kind of help with his lung situation. He got the cure, and obviously, her she said this line I thought was interesting. She was like, "You never, you've asked very little of me. My family asked so much of me." And I guess that also leans into what she's saying, like, "Right, you don't know what I've sacrificed. I ended up giving up my son and never going back to him, but being here because I wanted to double down, being your mother, being your wife." But I think I think it still comes down to her making excuses. Um, because even later on, Jacob's like, you never gave us a choice. Like, you were like, right, you, because she's almost like acting like you guys would have rejected. But it's like, you never gave us a choice. Like, Jacob's like, you never talked about any of this. Like, who knows how things would have played out if you had been open to me about it. Like, because she says that she wanted to talk to, like, Jacob. And, like, that day when she visited Alejandro when he was a little kid, she had the paperwork. She wanted to tell him everything, like, I'm your mom. And she was trying to hope that Jacob would be open up to bringing another. But it's like, right, you never gave him. You don't know what I would have said. I think it's just the fear got the best of her. Because she, because now Alejandro's like, wait, that was you back then? And you didn't take me. You left me. I had to wait years before I had you in my life. And it's like, I could have gone home with you and we could have been a family. We could have been together even then. Maybe I, maybe you, you left me behind for a few years, but then you could have taken. So Alejandro's going to feel all kinds of way too. And it's like, right, I continue to be your dirty little secret and you can't even tell me why. And it's so sad too, because like, Alma and him are hitting it off, and I love it. She's like, hey, I'm Alma, your, like, favorite sister. And he's like, I'm Alejandro, your only brother that we know of. And she's like, ha ha, got you, Ma. And the fact is, he can have a sense of humor about it, but it's like, right, he's finally getting to meet his siblings, you know? And now they find out about his circumstances a little bit. 
but he was just so upset by this revelation that, like, right, you won't explain why to me, why, you know, and because she's being forced to ask answer questions that Alejandro, once again, Alejandro never wanted to rock the boat, but now it's like Alma's asking questions he wants to know too, like, why did you do that? Why did you ever, and and she walks away, and Jacob's like, no, don't just walk away, like, answer me, like, talk to me about this. And we found out something interesting, and I thought I, this is such an interesting detail from last episode, that the what kind of sparked this in her made her, like, decide not to go through with bringing Alejandro with her into her relationship with Jacob. What was it that uh, Geraldine said? Geraldine told her not to do that. You'll ruin, like, I don't know whether it's her, like, marriage and ever, her lives and everything, and... And it's like, wait, you talked to my mother about it? Because for Camilla, as she had talked about it last episode, that Geraldine was more of a mother to her than her own mother was. So she listened to Geraldine's advice. But to be fair, Geraldine wasn't probably always in her best mind. So it makes you wonder, did Geraldine see the future or something? Or did, and once again, maybe it's just everyone trying to do what they believe was best. So she's like, right, I don't want you bringing another child into this family because it's like, right, um... Because having, because I think she had Alma at the time is when she was kind of considering bringing, which I guess uh, I keep, I guess I keep forgetting because I think in my head I keep thinking that Alma's the youngest. I think she's actually the oldest, or maybe it is vice versa. I think I, no, no. I think I think they reference it in the first season. It's like yeah, I think Becca is the younger sister because um, that was also supposed to be a thing. It's like oh yeah, your younger sister's getting married before you. Like I've kind of got my life together before you, the older sibling does. So I think that was kind of like supposed to be like the rub of it all too. I think in my head I keep thinking like um, Becca's the oldest. Like I said, I could be mistaken. Either way, no, because I was like right. I'm so no. Maybe I always knew that. I don't know why I always conflated it. I mean, it's like, no, like, um, there's been clear signs of Alma being the oldest, obviously. Even just this season alone. I don't know why I kept conflating and getting that wrong in my head. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever, I've, I've said anything in these reviews that suggests I was thinking that. But in my head, I had, I had that mix up for whatever reason. Regardless, moving on from it. But why would Geraldine say that? Like I said, not unless she saw the future. Maybe she wanted to protect Carlos from like, right, whatever Geraldine's like, my circumstances being what they are, maybe um, I, she knows that it, it gets passed on to Jacob and that Alma and Becca will potentially have it too. So maybe she didn't want to bring another child into this, someone who won't have that same situation, save him from the complications that is his family. But what I was thinking though is now it adds context to why when we got that scene where it's like, oh, like, she was like, oh, I probably should take a break from seeing your mom and stuff. And she was like, oh, I feel like I'm missing something. And it's like, oh, it's nothing. She was rattled because of the whole Geraldine thing. It That's what that conversation kind of made her go like, no, I, I can't bring. Um, I think I keep saying Carlos. Maybe I'm, if, I, if I've been saying Carlos, I've met Alejandro. I keep conflating, once again, the actor's name. And... Alma sees the door pop up again and she's hearing the, the child crying and she keeps assuming it's Alejandro. I don't think it is. I think there's going to be something else to that. And I think maybe we find out that the child crying is actually her, like a younger memory. Because the child that's like with her when she was telling Alejandro like, oh, I can't visit you anymore. Um, he found out about the month. Like, I think that was Becca. But part of me wonders, is there, we going to find out something from when Alma was younger that's kind of traumatic or traumatizing that led to all of this. What What is it that she's hiding from? She, like I said, she believes it's Alejandro, but maybe it's something else. It might actually be something related to Geraldine, maybe, in the grand scheme of things. But um, Becca was almost like going through her mom's memory back to when Geraldine um, told her about that. And Alma's like, right, if we could go back then and stop Geraldine from telling mom that she would have gotten Alejandro. And we could, you know, once again, she's doing everything she can. Like, we, we can make this perfect. We could all be together as a family. And as if Alejandro was with them, then Alejandro wouldn't have worked at that job at, at those that oil thing and his lungs wouldn't be in the situation or in so it's like everything would be perfect but for Rebecca it's like every time we look deeper and deeper into this we complicate things look mom and dad are fighting all the time now uh the fact is we've ruined Alejandro and mom's relationship maybe we should stop because the deeper we go the worse things get and it's like fine you want to go try and change things which 
Al, um, Alma saying like, right, we change things for the better, which even Jacob saying like, maybe bringing me, keeping me alive might not have done been the right thing. Cause it makes you wonder once again, in timeline a did just things shape, but it's like, right. She saved her dad. So what does that say about Alejandro and their relationship? Maybe she kept, maybe she visited Alejandro a lot more in timeline a, because she, it wasn't, it was a secret she was keeping from her children, but they were grown and out like her, she didn't have Jacob around anymore. So it makes you wonder about that. Cause all we're getting is timeline B's. Cause I was about to say like that couldn't have uh, saving Jacob uh, that was 17 years ago, so that, that's well before, like, uh, you know, Alejandro and everything, so there's, that wouldn't have had any, at least that we're aware of, that wouldn't have had any effect on their circumstances, so that still had to be, Alejandro still had to be a thing in um, season one in timeline A, but, because Alma still won't tell Becca the truth about, right, once again, I, we, we changed things, I've done it before, and it's like, right, you and dad are still keeping that secret, so she's like, fine, she opens up the memory and sends Alma there, except it's not a memory, Alma gets time traveled, and not to the point that she wants to go, I think this is probably going to be an even younger Geraldine in a mental facility, that, um, I think this is before, way before that conversation between Geraldine and, um, Alma, I mean, uh, between Geraldine and Camilla, I think this, com uh, where Alma ends up is way in advance, so now it's like, right, her powers are on a fritz, so she can't even take herself back, so she's kind of stuck here for the time being, but I think it's going to be a important thing, I think she's going to meet a younger Geraldine, and she's going to get some insight into her, her family circumstances that she wasn't aware of, kind of, uh, and maybe this this com maybe this meeting with Alma is something that Geraldine um, is aware of because it's like oh because eventually uh, Geraldine knows that eventually Alma will time travel back and meet her when she was younger maybe and maybe that influenced her decision not to told her not to uh, adopt Alejandro because everything needs to happen for a reason because it's like right. Uh, there are no coincidences. The universe is just pointing you in the right direction, right? So maybe there's something to that effect. Either way, I, I'm, I'm very interested to see where episode six ends up taking us going from here because it's a very uh, complicated situation that Alma finds her in. And it's going to be interesting to see whether I'm right about her, potentially her and a younger Geraldine talking or what's going to happen in what time period she actually in they gave you a better understanding because of the newspaper but i i'm blanking on what the newspaper actually said but either way i'm excited to see what happens next but really that's all i'm going to talk about to the next time we meet be happy be safe love life to the fullest and enjoy it good day and goodbye